Good morning guys, Jonathan Brown Menzies coming at you from Prospect Terrace Park on Congdon Street in the College Hill section of Providence, Rhode Island on the east side. We're on Cushing Street right now and we're going to check out this park that's known as the jewel of the city because of the bird's eye view of downtown Providence and the State House. Here we are standing outside of Prospect Terrace Park. It's a nice quiet day in the College Hill section of Providence. Nobody in the park at the moment. It's about 10.30 in the morning. And maybe that's why famous author H.P. Lovecraft love coming here because it's very, very peaceful. And there he is. That's Roger Williams. He's overlooking the city of Providence. And since that statue was built, the skyline has changed dramatically, to say the least. There's a better view of Roger Williams. The statue was built in the late 1930s. He's 15 feet tall, and the statue commemorates Roger Williams' founding of Rhode Island and the promotion of religious freedom. And in 1939, Roger Williams' remains were moved to a tomb that lies directly beneath the statue. So that's it. That's his gravesite. The park is so quiet and peaceful and within easy walking distance of most of the East Side and College Hill neighborhood, it's one of the most popular picnic spots around. And it's also a very famous backdrop for wedding photos and graduation photos because of the Providence skyline. All right, guys, I'm just zooming in a little bit. You can see that big crane there. There's some construction going on. The Biltmore, City Hall. Let's see, the old Superman building, the West End. State House over here will walk up a little bit, but it's tough with the trees. And one of the things I read on Travelocity is come here in the winter, the view is much, much better because the trees are gone. But still, it's a beautiful view. It's clear that people have a love-hate relationship with Prospect Terrace Park. It's very, very beautiful, but there are some negative things that people pointed out. I'm just going to read them off. The first one is lock your car. Don't let the tranquility fool you. There are still dishonest people among us. Another comment was it's not worth the walk from downtown because it's all uphill. So make sure you take an Uber or a taxi if you're coming from downtown and you want to visit Prospect Terrace Park and the Roger Williams statue. Even though it's beautiful up here, it's not worth the walk, especially on a summer day. You'll be all sweaty. You can see the bay on a clear day. And maybe I'm standing in a tough spot can't see it from here. Just looking out there, you can see Pawtucket way down there, kind of like downtown Pawtucket. I'm trying to see if there's any other recognizable things in the distance. Is that the Johnston landfill maybe, that mountain way out there? Maybe you guys can see it, I'm not sure. The absolute best place in Providence to see the sunset. It's a great area to sketch, so bring your sketchbook. The very best views come after the leaves have fallen. We're almost there now. It is late October, so another month. It'll be clear views. And last but not least, this goes without saying, but it's a great spot for a romantic stroll. So if you're looking for that romantic evening in Providence, maybe after a long dinner, a couple glasses of wine, and you're looking to end the evening on a positive note, this is probably not the worst place to be. Looks like there's a restoration of the park underway. They're going to replace and repair walkways, new landscaping, lighting, signage, drainage systems. They're going to make a beautiful place even more beautiful. Just pointing out a little bit of history, guys. Somebody else pointed this out on Yelp, but this little metal plaque is still in the sidewalk in front of Prospect Terrace Park, built by Works Progress Administration, 1935 to 1939. So that's pretty old. And that's about going to wrap it up, guys. Jonathan Brown Menzies coming at you from the College Hill section of Providence Prospect Terrace Park. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you have any suggestions for me, please leave a comment. I take all your suggestions to heart, good and bad. If you really like this video, please subscribe. Until next time, guys, take care.